Welcome back to When Reality Hits with Jackson Brittany. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Happy Thanksgiving week. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is having the best Thanksgiving ever, having a wonderful time with their families. Everybody is safe and happy. We just love this day, and I'm so excited for this year. And I hope nobody has to go near the airports because they are nasty. From what I've been hearing about from my friends, they just are going crazy. The airports are busy. Yeah. I mean, traveling around the holidays are are, are always bad, especially at LAX, but apparently Oof. it's really, really bad this yeah. year. The streets are insane. <laughs> But either way, we're recording this on a Wednesday. I know you guys are going to hear this on actual Thanksgiving, but we'll have to recap our Thanksgiving dinner next week because right now we're in the getting ready phase. I'm still decorating the house. She's behind the she's behind <laughs> the eight ball on this one, folks. So, she's still decorating. It's been a kind of a crazy process. We are at home. We are not in the studio because we have so much to do. Yeah, I've got so much to do today. I've got you know got all my cr- uh, grocery shopping done. So I'm getting ready to, to get my list together. My Menus ready, get everybody settled in, make sure we're not missing anything. Decorations are getting up. My aunt and uncle um, are coming in tomorrow to stay with us as well. Oh, that's well right. I forgot. For a couple nights. So we're so excited to have them here. Yes, and, yes. Can't wait. Um, I just love that I can actually get some family to be here with us too because we love having all of our friends and stuff that don't have family in LA come over. And I think this year we'll have around like 20 people here. So wait, I forgot. Do I have to go pick them up tomorrow? No, they have a rental car, oh, so you don't have Lord. to. thank <laughs> you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They're actually flying in from Sweet Vegas. Baby Jesus. They're actually flying into Vegas, so hopefully their trip won't be so bad. But, um, yeah, tomorrow is, for us, since we're recording this on Wednesday, tomorrow is the day. Everybody's going to be here. I've got just this whole menu planned out. I've had so many people asking what I'm making, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys hear the menu really fast because it just sounds delicious. And I know everybody right now is probably eating and just having the best time. So this is what we're having. Honey baked ham that Jax has got to go pick up in the morning. That's right. I got to fight <laughs> that crowd in the morning. A bunch of angry dads and yeah. parents and whatever. Yeah. I'm definitely not going anywhere near the stores tomorrow. That'll be Jax's duty because I'm going to stay in the kitchen and Jax is not allowed anywhere around the kitchen whenever I'm on Thanksgiving uh, making mode. We're having turkey. Our friend Gershon may, brings the turkey every year because it is so delicious. We're having broccoli cheese casserole, bacon, bacon wrapped green beans, goat cheese berry salad. We're having stuffing, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, cranberry sauce, rolls, macaroni and cheese, corn pudding, buffalo chicken dip, sausage dip, a dessert trifle, and a bunch of pies i'm literally gonna put five pounds on tomorrow <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna have to hit the treadmill hard tonight because i plan on eating as soon as i wake up tomorrow morning i'm gonna eat through the whole day i want to be stuffed it's the day where you just kind of graze the fridge all well, day hold on our uh, dinner's at six so are you just gonna be picking over my shoulder I am. every you time know, I'm well obviously something? we're gonna have all the christmas <laughs> i'm gonna get up early in the morning tomorrow make sure the yard and everything looks really good i gotta make sure we get enough firewood for the fire tomorrow christmas movies will be on we'll probably have some hot chocolate yes. uh crews will be watching his cartoons it's just one of those days where it's just fun you just graze and you eat appetizers early so you can at least graze on those and not touch our main course i like to do a dinner later on that way our friends have if they want to go to like to see their families or something they have time they can do their nightcap here with us yeah it's like a new little tradition for us that we've been doing every year and i love it yeah yeah, makes me happy it's awesome it's a lot of fun um speaking of thanksgiving the day after is black friday right so have we have you gone shopping at all yet? Have you said any Black Friday deals? What's the biggest thing right now for Black Friday? What are people I don't want? know. I feel like everybody is always just wanting the TV deals and stuff for Black Friday. I feel like Black Friday TV deals have been going on since the beginning of time. How about we put groceries on Black Friday? How about I we never, put gas on I Black Friday? I never really go do Black Friday shopping because, I, I, like I said, I am definitely an online shopper more so. I do enjoy going to the store sometimes, but Black Friday shopping, I mean, the last time I went, I went with my mom and my sister and... I don't know, like people listening, my mom is so slow, like when she shops and I can hardly stay in it. My mom and my sister were arguing the whole time because it, everybody was moving so slow. I mean, it was just a disaster. I am not going back to Black Friday. <laughs> Has Black Friday shopping become nostalgic? Do you think people, I think this is like the only time anymore that people actually go to the mall. Like they, they know it's going to be busy, but they don't care. Like the crowds are oh, just every, what it is. I mean, is. The, the deals are so good. So Black Friday is hopefully never going to end. We still want the malls to be there. And oh, stuff, I know. You I know. know. Uh, but uh, going back to Thanksgiving, because this is just the special day, and today is Thanksgiving. So we wanted, I wanted to go into some Thanksgiving stories. Yeah. Um, 
Jax, how did you used to like? What what did you guys used to do before you moved to L.A. for Thanksgiving with your family? Before I moved to L.A., well, with our family, Thanksgiving was always at my grandma's house. My grandma, my grandpa were the kind of like the center of of our family. They're the ones that kind of were the glue that held everything together. And then, you know, once my my grandmother passed, it kind of we all did our own things. But in the beginning, when we were younger, we all went to my grandma's house. It was just a big big dinner at my grandma's, and it's so weird. Like the, I can't believe now that you know my grandparents are no longer with us that they were the glue that kind of held the family together. Oh yeah, you know when you have a good good like foundation like that. Like my granny, my mama and papa were always our glue too. Yeah, it's just like we always went to the grandparents' house. Oh yeah, for sure. You know? Um, That's I what do. we. It, so you just would go to your grandparents' yeah. house every year. Yeah, it was the same thing every year. All the cousins, all the aunts mm-hmm. on my dad's side, we would go to my grandmother's house. She would be cooking all day. We get over there early. There would be some shrimp cocktail, always shrimp cocktail. Uh, my grandfather would be in the corner cracking walnuts. But I also played hockey a lot, so I was always late to the dinners. Or sometimes I'd be traveling at my turkey tournaments or <laughs> uh, any kind of Thanksgiving, you know, uh, tournament I had. So the times that I was able to go was always at my grandma's. Yeah, um, we always did. At Mamaw Turner's, you know, my, everybody loves my Mamaw, Mamaw's Beer Cheese. Of course, she was the cook every Thanksgiving. She's where I get a lot of my stuff from. Um, but we always would go there, and it's just awesome because, like I've, I've said many times, our family all lives, like, right beside each other. So everybody's there, all the cousins, everything. One year, I ate 12 yeast rolls at a Thanksgiving dinner. I'll oh never forget goodness. because I did not feel very good afterwards. Back when, back when I our, love back those when our, yeast rolls. They're back, so good. Back when our metabolisms were super fast, you oh, could eat yeah. whatever you want. You would have never known that I ate 12 yeast rolls in one sitting. Those <laughs> rolls, rolls, rolls on Thanksgiving are just dangerous. They're oh, just my gosh. So they're dangerous, so, but they're good. so good. Good. You know who has really good rolls? Golden Corral. They got yes. that like honey butter on top of them. Wow. My mom used to go whenever I would have like cheerleading, um, like little cheerleading parties. We would have them at our house sometimes. And mom would go pick up the rolls just from Golden Corral. <laughs> Uh, side That's note, such a good idea. Speaking of beer cheese, we do have the beer cheese back at the bar. Oh yeah. Sorry, Woo-woo, I didn't mean to throw finally, that in there, but yes. people have been asking. I've, I swear to God, I'm so sorry that the people have been coming out of town asking for it. We st- we got it back. We're just having some issues trying to get the the correct cheese yeah. there. <laughs> We're getting it worked out, but it is back. Just awesome. So, just so you guys yeah, know. I'm so happy it's been selling out so fast. Though can't, we can't even keep cheese. it in. We can't even keep it. Susan, it's there. Yeah. As soon as it gets in and we make what we need, you know how we make it. It's gone. I know. It's gone. People are buying it like in bulk. It's so good. I'll have to. Maybe I'll have to stop by and get some for tomorrow. What is your favorite Thanksgiving memory? Oh, man. Uh, I had so many. I it mean, could every... be while you were here. It could be when you were a kid. You know, um, I think, you know, my going to my grandparents' house was just awesome. Every year was absolutely amazing. But I think making new memories here in my new house, you know, with my now my family, I think it's it's just amazing. I just, the fact that I get to throw my own Thanksgiving yeah. party, it's just so cool, you know. I love I'm not going to anybody's too. houses anymore. I was always just jumping around and going to whoever would invite me because I couldn't afford to leave California sometimes. So I would always just, you know, crash friends' Thanksgiving. Well, so. that's why I want everybody to know they can come here. Yeah, our so. friends that don't have family. It's just so fun now to be able to return the favor to my friends that don't have family here or people that just can't travel or whatever it's just so nice to host a thanksgiving uh dinner and it's just and obviously to see, like cruz every year just like yeah you know he's growing up so fast and this this will be his third thanksgiving yeah he's running around the backyard right now <laughs> <laughs> he's running around is it his third or second thanksgiving this will be his second. second okay yeah I'm trying to think of like right? birthday, birthdays yeah second. yeah <laughs> i don't know what i'm like like Seeing the numbers in my head floating around. It's just a fun time of year, but yeah, I'm I'm so happy. All the you know, like I said, all the kids and and everybody getting together. It was just always always fun times. Yeah, it'll be so good. And I've only watched Home Alone thirty times so far. So I know I got. Okay, (laughs) what is the favorite um, Thanksgiving episode? Like it could be. uh, Maybe we should do Friends. Uh, Friends has a really really good one. yeah, but they have like every season has a Thanksgiving episode. The Office and Friends both have really good Thanksgiving episodes. You know, they they just are so good. I mean, the Friends obviously the Friends episode for Thanksgiving is um, when Brad Pitt comes. I think. Oh, that Isn't was that, your favorite. That is a good one. Is that a Thanksgiving? That is, yeah, that's yeah, a Thanksgiving. That was a good one. That is a good one. I like the one when Joey gets the turkey on his head. Oh yeah, that's a good but one. But I also too. like the one where Chandler has to like lay in the box. Oh yeah, until he says sorry. <laughs> yeah. The well, friend, wait, what was your what's your holi- favorite holiday moment? You oh, say yours. I, I mean, I just have I, like you said, I just got so many. I mean, we have such a huge family, so I've always loved being able to do that and now be be, be able to like host it and have crews like here every year, and our family's just going to keep growing. So 
Yeah, I mean, I mean I've had so many. Think. It's hard to pinpoint just one. Me too. We've been very lucky to we have many. Yeah, yeah. Every year it's always trumps the next year. So I've just been very fortunate to. I think we both have to where we both have just yeah really, really good. Mom normally gets to be here for Thanksgiving, so I'm definitely gonna miss her and my mammal this year. Mammal just had her 79th birthday. Happy birthday, mammal! I know it. Happy I love her 79. So much. Wow. I know. And all, obviously, all our favorite movies are being watched right now. We've watched Home Alone. We've watched The Grinch. We've watched Christmas Vacation. Four Christmases. I mean, they just list goes on on all of our favorite classic holiday movies. Oh yeah, are playing Jax right now, loves over and over and Jax over. Jax loves what? The, the you holiday. guys would be so proud. Yeah, Jax loves the holiday with like Cameron Diaz. That movie is so good. I love. But the who holiday. would think that that would be like one of Jax's all time favorite movies? I just I love mean, that movie. I mean, I'm I'm a sucker for a good Cameron Diaz rom com. Oh yeah, it's so good. You know, like I wish she would come back and and do just a couple more because the movie industry is suffering without. And Cameron she still Diaz. looks the same too. Yeah, like, she does. Exact same. But I just I just miss those cheesy rom. Rom-coms that she was always in with her and Matthew McConaughey. Or, yes, you know, just, so good. So, so, but Cameron, it's so if you're listening, like, who would have thought that Jack Taylor's favorite one would be like the, the mushy like holiday? I mean, whenever the little girls are talking and they're cute, like was it British Oh accent? my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, Jack's just like loves it so much. It makes him so happy. I don't know. I just love the meet cute moments. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it really is an adorable movie. It just makes me laugh that some big, tough Jax Taylor's favorite movie about to cry when these little girls are saying, we can push our bed together and you can sleep with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cute. It is so cute. I have a question for you, and this is a pretty random thing, and I'm sorry, I just got this in the back of my head, and I heard this on another podcast, my favorite podcast, by the way. Um, Which is what? With, with Sebastian Menascalco oh. <laughs> and Pete Corielli, uh, the cast. Anyway, they had a question. He's like, when you, uh, what would you do if your friend said, hey, um, I sent you a Christmas gift. It's in the mail, and I just want to let you know it's coming. Then you about six months go by, right? The the present hasn't come yet, right? It hasn't come in the mail, and you've seen this person. Would you bring it up and say, "Hey, your gift never came," or would you just say nothing? Because if you say something, then you can be like, maybe the other person thinks, "Well, he never got my gift. He never said anything." Yeah, but also, what if they really did send it and it got messed up in delivery, went to somebody's house, and right. they never like gave it to you? They just opened it and kept it for themselves. Like, if I sent somebody a present, I would want them to know they didn't get it, so that I could tell them, like, right. "Hey," or so that I could fix it and get them another present sent to them. But you know what if what you mean? ran into that person like a couple, like a couple weeks later, and the present still isn't there, and you just you just go along having a conversation like they never sent it? Do you think they were lying, or would you oh, call them? Oh, like on somebody it? just said, "I sent you a present," yeah. but really they never sent one. Right? Would you call them on it, or would you just let it go? I mean, I would let it go for sure, but how would you know if you didn't say anything? Because, like, That's... what if it really did just get lost in the mail? Yeah, I, I had to trouble with this question, too. Like I said, this I was listening to this uh, uh, in the car, my favorite podcast of the cast, and they had the same question. I was like, I think I, I, I would probably bring it up, too. I would be like, you know what? I just let you know. I know you said – this is how I would say it. This is how I would say it. Just to let you know. I know you said you sent a gift a couple week, weeks ago. It hasn't come yet. I just want to make sure that it hasn't got lost in the mail. That's how I would say it. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because then, how else would they know? Right. Right. Like, if 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 you sent it to me and I never got it, like you would never know that if right. I didn't bring it up to you. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, you're, but you just don't want to be rude and make things awkward, I guess. Okay. So since we're doing a Thanksgiving special today for Happy Thanksgiving Day, uh, we're gonna do some Thanksgiving Would You Rather. Are you ready, Jax? Get ready. First thing that comes to your mind, you just gotta say the answers, okay? Okay. Would you rather? Watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade or watch one of the NFL football games? Ooh, uh, watch one of the NFL football games. Okay. I think, well, I, I don't know. I like them both. That's I'm hard. really, like, yes, I would have loved the Macy's Parade like 10, 20 years ago. Now it's a little bit of a show. I think that's why I like it. All the I know, but it's just not, everything. it's just a lot of singing. I like that. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like musicals. Well, we can have the Thanksgiving Day Parade on one TV and then we'll have the football game on the other TV <laughs> for tomorrow. Okay. That's true. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Really fast. Ready? Eat turkey every day for the rest of your life or never have potatoes again. Oh, my gosh. I know. Like French fries count as potatoes, uh, correct? Yes. <laughs> um, geez. Eat turkey every day for the rest of, the day of your life or never have potatoes again. I would again. have to eat turkey because I just love potatoes too much. I think I would do the same. You like, already eat turkey a lot anyway. I know, but I, I don't love it. Love it. 
Unless it's processed, I like it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like real like turkey. Like it's too gamey for me. I don't like that gamey taste. I don't like when it's dry. That's why I like. I don't really care to be the one who makes the turkey on Thanksgiving. I'm more. I like the honey ham, like the sweet, yeah, good, good stuff. It's got it's got that tryptophan in it. Makes you sleepy. (laughs) (laughs) I'm already tired enough. (laughs) You're gonna be like asleep just for me cooking all day, Jax. Probably. You doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Never celebrate Thanksgiving again or prepare a full Thanksgiving feast every month for the rest of your life. I guess that matters more for me. Would I, you, I think I would. If you had to prepare it for us. I think I would prepare a feast every month for the rest of my life instead yeah. of never celebrating Thanksgiving again. Yeah. I feel like thanks, Thanksgiving gets the shaft because I just feel like we don't even have Thanksgiving decorations. We put up Christmas decorations. I have a turkey over there and some pumpkins still out. <laughs> it's so, I feel so bad for Thanksgiving. It's kind of like a warm up for I think Thanksgiving Christmas. though is just a, a good time for uh, the family to get together and like you're supposed to like talk about what you're. That's what I'm going to make everybody this year go around the freaking room and tell what they're thankful for. I'm going to put everybody on the spotlight, embarrass the crap out of them, and make them say out loud what they're thankful for this year because that's what we're supposed to do that's the meaning of thanksgiving like you're supposed to be together and be grateful for what you have right so i'm gonna put everybody on blast (laughs) and make them say aloud to the group oh my god i can't wait to hear what everyone has to say i really (laughs) can't we'll talk about on the podcast but yeah i feel like it gets shafted I think it's just because it's in between two amazing holidays as well, Halloween and Christmas. But that's why this, that's why they say it's a wonderful time of year because all three of those holidays are just so much fun. You're right. A good doctor is hard to find. Someone who actually gets you, listens to you, and makes you feel super comfortable. You can spend weeks searching, and if you get lucky, you find the one. You call their office, and they have an appointment available, but the receptionist tells you they don't take your insurance. Wipe your tears, put away the ice cream, and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who is right for you and takes your insurance. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance and are located near you and treat almost any condition you're searching for. These docs all have verified reviews from real people, and the average wait time to see a doctor is only 24 to 48 hours. Go to ZocDoc.com reality and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash reality. ZocDoc dot com slash reality. When Reality Hits is brought to you by Lightbox Lab Grown Diamonds. Lightbox Lab Grown Diamonds are simply priced and proudly grown from 100% renewable wind energy at the Lightbox Lab in Portland, Oregon. They're chemically and visually identical to natural diamonds. So this holiday season, you can add versatile classics to your jewelry collection, like ready-to-party earring jackets and glamorous tennis bracelets. Buying these Lab Grown Diamonds are a perfect gift. So many people would absolutely love them. I know right now everybody is shopping for gifts. You can get one for yourself and feel so beautiful, but they're at a better price point. Risk-free shipping and easy returns make Lightbox the easiest way to shop for stunning quality lab-grown diamond jewelry. All of Lightbox's modern classics shine solo or can be layered for high-impact sparkle. Plus, Lightbox also offers lab-grown diamonds grown in pink or blue, but still with the unmistakable sparkle of a diamond. Lightbox also offers loose lab-grown diamonds for you to use in your own dream design. Go now. Shop now at lightboxjewelry.com and use promo code REALITY for 10% off site-wide. I love everything I've ever gotten from Jenny Kane. They have beautiful home decor items, and you know I love to decorate. They have amazing soft cashmere sweaters that you can pair with anything. They are absolutely incredible, and I love them so much. They are so soft. Jenny Kane is here to help you live your best season yet. They have cashmere galore, like their V-neck Flynn cashmere sweater, their vintage-inspired cashmere Francis polo, and their luxurious yet lightweight sweaters like the cashmere fisherman and 
cashmere cocoon. Plus, you can style pieces together without a second thought. You can pair a cashmere sweater with a classic denim or a simple slip dress. They also have a stunning collection of home essentials, timeless furniture pieces, cozy throws, perfectly curated decor, and the most incredible candles. I love candles. Find your forever pieces at JennyKane.com. Our listeners get 15% off your first order when you use code REALITY at checkout. That's 15% off your first order at J-E-N-N-I-K-A-Y-N-E.com. Promo code REALITY. Let getting dressed be one less thing to worry about. Drink apple cider with gravy in it or drink hot chocolate with cranberry sauce. Like the cranberry sauce is inside the hot chocolate? Yes. I would do the cran- I would rather drink uh, the hot yeah. chocolate. Hot chocolate and cranberry sauce that actually sound, sounds good. Doesn't sound too bad. Hey, I've been watching a lot of uh, the baking shows, the holiday baking shows right now. Like that, I feel like that could be in a cake somewhere. It hot chocolate, be. raspberry, I, or I feel like cranberry. That, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> I think Prue would, would approve. Okay. Eat sweet potatoes with marshmallows or topped with brown sugar and pecans. That one's not really good. When I think I put all that stuff on there, marshmallows, brown sugar, and pecans. I don't like pecans. Well, you just, you wouldn't even know they were in there if I didn't tell you. That's one thing that drives me nuts about Jax. I'll make him all this stuff and like I put sour cream in some stuff and he never even knows it's in there. But then he'll be like, I hate sour cream. But if he doesn't see me put it in there, he'll eat the entire dish, won't you? I 100%. I'd rather not know what's in it. <laughs> he acts like he hates it until he's actually eating it. Okay, this is a good one for you, Jax. Would you rather sit at the kids' table or have to talk politics at the adults' table? Oh, my God. Sit at the kids' table. Kids' table, kids for table sure. Kids' table, for sure. Way more fun at the kids' table. You never talk about, what was it? You never talk about politics. You religion. never talk about religion or how to raise people's kids, kids. yeah, how to yeah. Parent never other tell anybody how to, how to raise their kids never no politics and no religion so if you're listening okay. to, the, to this today make sure you're not talking about those three things with your family and that is a good way to make sure no arguments break out that is very true <laughs> okay ready would you rather eat a pizza or a taco made with leftover turkey <laughs> These, eat a pizza that's leftover turkey with leftover talk ta- turkey or a taco oh i think a taco would be good yeah because you, yeah. you could make it any way that you want right, to. Right, right. I'll go taco. Would you rather spend Thanksgiving on a cruise or at Disney World? Um, ooh, then thanks. Oh, definitely on a cruise. I think so on a cruise. Because too. you know how many people are going to be at the at there for Thanksgiving. You, you know think how a lot packed? of people go oh, to Disney my. at Thanksgiving. Yes, absolutely. Because they all have the mindset that no one's going to be there, but then everybody goes. I know, but people are normally home cooking all no, day. No. I guess some people d- take trips. Yeah. To do different no, things. no, no, no. It you, would be cool to do a cruise one year and just don't have to worry about the hustle and bustle. Yeah. But I feel like the whole point is the hustle and bustle, and it is like the family time and the friends time. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you're asking for it if you go near Disney on any kind of weekend holiday. You know, kids off school. You're just really asking for it. You <laughs> really, really are. He's always so uh, uh, like particular about what time. Oh, and stuff I, that I he only does go to now. amusement parks. You know, when school is a full in session, and yes. I only go between Monday and Thursday, like during lunchtime. All right, here's another one. 
This is a good one because it talks about friends and we love friends. Eat Rachel's Thanksgiving trifle from friends or eat Molly Weasley's Brussels sprouts with chestnuts. Uh, Jennifer Aniston's trif- trifle, for sure. You would eat the trifle even though it's got... Yeah. Uh, peas and it's gravy. It's got peas, yeah. gravy, yeah. and it had like burger meat, and then it yeah, had like fine. whipped cream. Yeah. You would eat that? Yeah, totally. I think I would have rather have Brussels sprouts with chestnuts. That doesn't even sound bad to me. I no. like Brussels sprouts, though. Can I go off topic here? Yes. Can we talk a little bit about what we've been watching lately? What? A lot of crime and murder. I mean, yeah. I feel like we always watch a lot of crime. I know, but crime. we've been on a serious kick lately, and literally I've watched hundreds. We, I got to say we've watched hundreds. This is not a stretch of, of crime shows and documentaries, right? Oh, for sure. I got to say, 90% of these people, 90% of these people don't wear gloves when they kill people, okay? <laughs> they don't wear gloves, right? And there's always DNA found. They don't wear gloves. They bury the bodies in their yard, which that should be like rule number two. Don't bury the body in your backyard. Why are we going into murder after I'm talking about a wonderful Thanksgiving family moment? This is weird. <laughs> I know, but I was just I'm listening. To, I'm, we're watching all these true crime documentaries, and I know people watch true crime, and we've talked about Christmas enough. Let's get into some murder <laughs> it's here. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving today. But don't you think, like, wouldn't you wear gloves? If you're going to murder somebody, not saying you're going to murder anybody, but like, wouldn't the I mean, first thing... I mean, are you trying to take notes no, over here? What's I'm going saying, on? You know, if I go missing, y'all heard it on When Reality Hits. 90, I would say 90 to 95% of these people don't wear gloves. They leave a shoe or shirt behind. They leave the murder weapon behind. And yeah. I mean, they're obviously idiots if they decided to I kill mean, somebody I feel anyway. Like that so. would be like, you know, in a manual, how, how to be a murderer for dummies. <laughs> like that would be step one, step two, Well, step I don't three. think we should be giving out a manual for no, how to murder I, anybody. I'm just saying people watch true crime. It's a, it's, it's Everybody loves popular, true crime. Right? Yes. But don't you think some of these people crime. just don't think? My favorite, my I favorite. I think they're not thinking anyway. They're, you know. But my favorite part is when it's the uh, the one we like, why women kill. There's a w- women who kill or something. I can't remember their name of it. These women kill their significant others, bury the body in the backyard, then go to then go and collect the life insurance plan, like literally the next day. Uh, there's a lot of men that we've seen doing the same thing as well. Also, the day before, <laughs> the the spouse is at Home Depot buying bleach, plastic <laughs> blacks, and uh, a shovel. And it's all on a credit card. I mean, nobody's going to get away with that crap anymore. I we just, got There's too much, too much forensic evidence and things these days. It just baffles me how, like, you know, they can go and they do this elaborate crime, but yet they, there's no thinking behind it. I mean, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent <laughs> there, but I've been dying to talk about this. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? I mean, everybody. Oh, you guys who are listening, there is a really good show called Homicide for the Holidays. Whoa, so good. And since it is a holiday today, like if you like true crime and stuff, you should check that out because it's all different homicides that happened on holiday events and they are crazy. I mean, it's heart wrenching. I can only imagine you're trying to enjoy time with your family and something like that happens. Like, oh my gosh. What's it called again? Homicide for the Holidays. Oh, so good. We, we crushed that one, yeah. too. <laughs> I mean, we are d- definitely all about the true crime. Yeah. Have you watched any reality TV recently? I really haven't gotten any reality TV. I was watching House of Villains. Yeah. Um. Do, what did you think of the show? You still liking it? Yeah, I haven't seen it since you got off of it, so we'll have to, well, pick, it. We'll have well, to pick back up when you come back on. I'm back on next week. Yeah, it's next week now. Next week, okay, I am yeah. back on. They're, they're black this week, and then they go back next week. Yeah, we'll do a little recap and watch it. Um next week i don't know if you guys saw on social media but me and cruz went and did a little uh mommy and cruzy staycation this week in santa monica and it was so fun we had the best time just being him and i got to spend just a little quality time together we went to we stayed at shutters on the beach which is like a beautiful hotel in santa monica like it was absolutely amazing we went to the pier we played arcade games oh it was just so cute I just felt like it was a little something special for us to do together while the ho- for the holiday season's coming up. It was great. Oh, yeah. Did well, you, you know what? Did you miss us, Jack? I did miss you, but I definitely catched up on a lot of my TV programming. <laughs> did you watch TV the whole time or did you sleep the whole time or both? A little bit of both. Yeah. I got off the couch maybe three times and that was just to go to the bathroom. And all I did was catch up on my shows and sleep. I it was figured. Nice. They had like a huge tub. I filled it up with bubbles and like, because I remember whenever I was little taking those big bubble baths and like filling up the whole the whole entire bath with bubbles, how much fun that was. Oh, yeah. I did it for Cruz at the hotel. It was like, he was having a ball. Did you get pictures? I didn't see any. Yeah, I got pictures of it. It's so cute. Oh, you got to post some of these on the Instagram. I will. He had like a little face. A little face. Of, oh my uh, goodness. Bubbles. I mean, he loved it. He absolutely loved it. <laughs> 
It was so cute. I didn't even see those. So tonight is the biggest bar night of the year. We are going to Jax's tonight. Well, I am. I know you got a lot of cooking to do, and I know you want to go. But I, th- you cannot... I think I'm going to be burning the midnight oil to get things ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, I know, I know. So, but we are going to go to Jax's tonight. Um, it is the biggest bar night of the year. Pretty excited. Uh, we're rented out till nine o'clock. So I'm probably going to start out at Schwartz and Sandy's with the guys, and mm-hmm. then we're going to come over to our bar. Um, last week, the second. Uh, I swear, if you're hungover for tomorrow during Thanksgiving, I will kill you. No, no, I won't be hungover. Like I have so, maybe, I'm gonna be working won't. all day. You're gonna have, you're gonna have cruise duty until wait, like later on. <sighs> I know, I know. It's okay. I'm gonna handle it. I don't oh, worry. Oh my be... god, no! I'm nervous that he's gonna be hungover. No, and I'm not gonna be, be hungover. Ruined. What could possibly go wrong? You are I'm with so Schwartz. Mean when you're hungover. Jax. How? How? I cannot deal with that on Thanksgiving Day. How? What can possibly go wrong? It's just me and Schwartz. And a oh couple my of god, guys. you and Schwartz. Schwartz, that's even worse. You two will be up until like 5 a.m. today, this morning. Like, I just know you will. No, I won't do that. Maybe Jax, tomorrow. I, oh, my gosh. Okay. You guys listening, I'm going to give Uh-oh. you all a heads up how he was on Thanksgiving Day. If he had a little bit of a hangover, if he was cranky whatsoever, Ugh. I am going to blast it. I mean, I'm cranky on a regular basis. Yeah, you are not cranky on Thanksgiving. I will not allow it. <laughs> I, okay, guys, I'm telling you, I will let you guys know if he is hungover. Who else is coming out? Oh, <laughs> no, just, I'm nervous. It's just the usual suspects, but it is the biggest bar night, and, well, we own a bar. I got to go there, right? I got to go there, right? So, you know, I got to I gotta support Tom and his bar. He's got to support me, so we're going to go back and forth. And I'm doing my work. Oh, this is my no. due diligence. Oh, here we go, y'all. Yeah, so I'll be good tonight. Don't worry. But, okay. Yeah. But what you know are, what? What are you? What are you going to be doing in the morning for Thanksgiving to prep anyway? Well, just tomorrow the yard? I'm just going to make sure the yard is looking good. I'm going to make sure the fire is going. I'm make, I'll probably be watching crews while you're cooking. I have to go pick up the ham and probably whatever else that you forgot last minute. I'm going to have to go get. Let's be honest. You'll yeah. forget something. Um, yeah, and I'll just be like, you know, here as support for you. Okay. I guess. You promised me and. To all these listeners that you will not give me any attitude. I promise I won't give you any attitude, but I do have to get going to go because I just realized we have Cruz's haircut appointment, and so I have to skedaddle out of here. Guys, I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. Yes, I have to finish putting up my decorations and get everything prepped for tomorrow, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We'll let you know how our Thanksgiving went as well next week, but sending all the love and prayers to you and your family. Be so grateful for everything that you have, guys, and just love your love and hug on your loved ones today. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't drink too much. Yes. Thanks for uh, listening to When Reality Hits with Jackson Brittany. We love y'all. See you next week. Hello, I'm Rabia Chaudhary. I invite you to join me every Tuesday for new episodes of Nighty Night Bedtime Stories to Keep You Awake now on Podcast One. This new incarnation of Nighty Night is an anthology of stories that bring to life classic horror stories, some you're definitely familiar with and others you'll be hearing for the first time. Join me as I tuck you into bed with stories that will leave you sleepless all night long. Get new episodes of Nighty Night every Tuesday wherever you get your podcasts. Just in time for the holidays, this show is brought to you by Rakuten. We love using Rakuten. We think it is absolutely amazing. The fact that you can go shopping and earn money back while you do it. With Christmas coming up, there is so many ways that you can save money and Rakuten is incredible for that. Rakuten is the shopping platform that partners with thousands of stores across every category. Beauty, clothing, electronics, home, department stores, pets, etc. It's the most rewarding way to shop and save. Rakuten has 17 million members who have earned over $4 billion in cash back. You can stack holiday sales on top of cash back to maximize your savings. Some of the stores they work with include Macy's, Adidas, Walmart, which I love, Nike, Bloomingdale's, and many, many more. Earn cash back on clothing and shoes for the fashionista, toys and games for the little ones, electronics for the tech connoisseur, and kitchen or home essentials for the ultimate host or hostess in your life. Membership is free and it's easy to sign up. Start all your shopping trips at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Your cash back really adds up.